think one of the easiest ways to go ahead and get bands going into your exercise program is just start incorporating them into your flexibility program. They work well for stretching because they provide that passive overpressure that you can't get with body, body weight stretching or with just using a strap. Let's go ahead and take you through the six stretches that you want to go ahead and use to stretch out your hip. Let's take our left hip and let's take you through it. First stretch is going to be hooking the band onto your arch of your foot. Reach up, grab the band about eight inches off your foot. If you want, put the band behind your head. Reach down, pull down, and let's start pressing up. Real easy. Now the key is you want to press against the band, which is one of the advantages of using a band is that it's going to be a resistance that you can push against to cause a contract, relax type stretch. Keep working into the range of motion as far as you can go. When you have to shorten up, you can grab the band closer to your foot and further it up. In. Keep, keep good pressure on the band against the arch of the foot so it doesn't slide off your foot. And keep moving there. That's stretch number one. Stretch number two. Take the band, pull down on the left arm, lock out, and let's go over here and let's start working our adductors. You can always pull the band closer by bringing your knee into your chest and then just start lengthening that out and really stretching out your adductor. Don't hold this stretch, be active with it. That's another great reason why band stretching is effective is because you can be so active with it. And notice, I'm always moving my leg around, not keeping it in the same spot all the time. I'm moving it all the way around. So then really lengthening out that hamstring and that adductor. Now I'm gonna switch sides. I'm gonna reach up here, pull down a little bit, that makes this part of the band loose, makes it very easy for me to go behind my head, and now I'm gonna work some hip rotation. So now I'm just stretching out my hip rotation. At any point in time, I can always make the band tighter by just simply wrapping it around my hand, shortening up the band, pull it here, lock it out, and now I can go into even more tension. That stretch number three is the hip rotation. Hip abduction, going across my body. Now, keep in mind, I want to keep that right foot tight against the wall as I'm going through the stretching. And I'm always trying to get further and further into my range and get my foot to go further and further into this direction because that's where I'm lengthening out and that's where I'm the tightest. From there, I'm going to go into a hip flexor quad stretch by taking my foot through, wrapping it around, and bring it up. Now you're going to notice I'm putting my foot against the wall so I can go ahead and stabilize and keep myself tight here so I can lengthen out here. Get good separation between your heel on your right foot and your knee and really open up and lengthen out that quad by going through a nice rotational stretch while the band keeps your right leg in hip extension. If you want to go into more of an advanced stretch for that, turn it, go the other way, pop yourself into this direction, take yourself up, Make sure you pop up first, get your foot as far back as you can, and then slowly just try to go ahead and start working your way down. Nice and easy lengthening out. Guys, hip flexibility and mobility exercises with a band are probably one of the best things that I've ever done to keep my hips mobile. You should go ahead and start incorporating them into your workout, and it's just one way to get RBT into your workout.